Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the science behind a question we've all pondered. Why does food spoil? Food is full of nutrients, and guess what else loves those nutrients? Tiny invaders called microorganisms. These include bacteria, mold, and yeast. They're all around us, in the air, on surfaces, and even on the food itself. But food also has its own built-in crew, enzyme. These are like molecular chefs, constantly breaking down food components. While this is helpful for digestion, it can also contribute to spoilage. Microorganisms and enzymes are like party animals. They get busy when the conditions are favorable. Three key factors influence a food spoilage rave. Number one, moisture. Microbes need water to grow. That's why juicy fruits and veggies spoil faster than crackers. Number two, temperature. Warmer temperatures are like a VIP invitation to these uninvited guests. Cold temperatures slow them down, which is why refrigeration really helps. Number three, oxygen. Some microbes really love oxygen while others don't, but limited oxygen can also speed up enzymatic breakdown. So, how do we know our food has gone rogue? Our senses can help us with that. Sight. Discoloration, mold growth, and mushiness are all red flags. Smell. An unpleasant odor is a definite sign of spoilage. Touch. Slimy textures indicate unwanted microbial activity. Now that we know the enemy, here's how to fight back. Keep things cool and dry. Refrigeration really slows down microbial growth. Airtight containers limit oxygen exposures and keep microbes at bay. Freezing, drying, and pickling use various methods to create unfavorable environments for spoilage. By understanding the science of spoilage, we can become food storage superheroes. Not only will we save money by preventing food waste, but we'll also avoid any unwanted tummy troubles. What are your best tips for keeping food fresh? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more science adventures.